Climate change is a big threat to health worldwide, and we saw that issue shoot up the agenda at COP28 in Dubai this year, because the truth is, this concerns everyone. Things are getting worse very rapidly. Marina Romanello there, the director of the Lancet Countdown, one of my guests at our latest Climate Now live debate from Dubai, asking how we can survive the heat waves to come. Here are the highlights you need to hear. You're genuinely concerned about the kinds of heat waves that kill hundreds of thousands or millions. Yeah, well, I yeah. mean, we have seen it in, in Europe already. In 2022, we have seen a, a heat wave that may well have killed something in the order of 100,000. Carlo Bontempo from the Copernicus Climate Change Service says we need to prepare and adapt for the scorching summers ahead. The climate is now changing at such a rate that we cannot assume that the risk of the past is a good proxy for the risk we are going to face. My third guest, Maria Guevara from Doctors Without Borders, had some sobering news. We're actually seeing doubling and tripling of severe acute malnutrition cases, especially in the Sahel region, for example. However, Maria says they're now trying out new combinations of data in order to get ahead of climate-related health crises. One of the things that we've been piloting is actually the Malaria Anticipation Project in South Sudan, where we're actually putting data that's epidemiological from our clinics with that of meteorological and climate data. So putting those two is actually creating a predictability of when you might have a huge malaria outbreak. A rise in vector-borne diseases like malaria is one of the growing problems related to climate change, but the other one is simply rising temperatures. And whatever the outcome of this COP, those temperatures will continue to rise and your health is at risk. Two degrees of heating is the upper threshold that we've committed to in the Paris Agreement. And even that, would take us to a 370% increase in heat-related mortality by mid-century. By mid-century, in the next 30 years. When we say is unprecedented, we really mean it. We haven't seen it, not just as a human being or uh, as a group of scientists, we haven't seen it as a civilization. So what should we do? Well, it's actually quite simple. You have things as simple as putting blinds down in your home if you have windows that face where the sun is. You have things that are as simple as hydration, wearing lighter clothes. These are all things we've heard of, but surprisingly, they're not done enough. Healthy is, should be the new normal, and that needs to be in all our documents and negotiations. And the ultimate cure is obviously phase out of fossil fuel. We do have information, so we are not blind in front of all, uh, some of the, of the changes that are coming in. The future will be different. It will be very different from an, anything we have seen. And we should be able to improve our ability to use the knowledge that exists, and is plenty. Please do take some time out to watch the full conversation by following the link in the description below, including some great tips on how to stay healthy and climate friendly. And head over to euronews.com slash climate now for the latest information on how our planet is changing and what we're going to do about it. My name is Jeremy Wilkes, science journalist at Euronews. I'll see you soon.